mr president once again i find myself having to remind colleagues that the european constitution or lisbon treaty is not technically in force. every clause every article of the brok report is based on that treaty already having justiciability which of course it does not do. i have to say that there is something a little bit suspicious about having held back this report until the irish referendum was safely in the bag and all the votes counted and then suddenly coming out with our proposal to have eu embassies around the world answerable to this house and a single european diplomatic corps. of course we all know the reality that an eu foreign policy exists de facto if not de jure. we have the legations around the world they dwarf any of the national missions. we have in all but name eu ambassadors. And now, once again, we see that a report is belatedly regularising what had become practice over many years in the European Union. And so now when we object, we're told, oh, there's no point in complaining now because this has, of course, been common practice for many years. Thus, do European policies go from being unthinkable to being inevitable without any intervening stage?